everybody. I just got a brought my second phone just so I can do a um, little bit more recording from different angles. You know, phones aren't that great at multitasking and they're doing a lot of stuff at the same time, especially when they require a lot of processing ability. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about Bitcoin. You guys have seen the recovery after that big drop, after that big uh, blast off. So it's, uh, you know, it's just volatility. You know? In general, it's uh, it still has a really nice bullish um, stance to it. A lot of uh, other YouTubers talk about how this big last move was a, a, a bearish thing, but if it, if it really was bearish, uh, it, uh, people would have been more aware of it happening. Everybody was so surprised, and now they're so sure again. Everybody just, um, you know, they just can't admit that this. Uh, well, I mean, I guess they admit it, but then later they go back to the same thing of trying to predict. And uh, in general, it's uh, it's like if you believe in the internet, and you're like, okay, if uh, if if you know, for you to even have access to the internet at home when it first started, you needed a key uh, that was uh, you know associated with your IP address or something, and you needed to buy that key to access the internet. It's like saying, okay, I'm gonna buy that key, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it later because I don't know if I'm gonna need the internet. And it sounds absurd, uh, you know. Thinking about it from a you know perspective of you know it's already the future, and we can see that you know, obviously the internet is just part of life now. But when it's uh, not part of life, when it's something new like Bitcoin, and uh, a lot of people consider it something like the new internet because of how technologically advanced it is compared to our um, the current uh, form of. Um, fiat money uh, since Bitcoin is considered digital um, hard money in the sense that it can't just be created uh, past its limit uh, that's it once it gets its limit that's it even coins that are lost it's like throwing a, a diamond or a, a gold coin into the into the middle of the Atlantic it's gone that's gone too makes value makes gold more valuable if, especially if people know, know that that gold coin is gone now so all these Bitcoin that we know that are being uh, unused, uh, you know, they can basically be considered gone, and it just makes the price of Bitcoin uh, that much more valuable because there's less um, of this hard currency, digital currency, to go around. So, in general, I just wanted you guys to pay attention to how how it's moving uh, in a uh, basically producing higher highs before it uh, even gets close to new lows in this in this last uh, medium perspective meaning you know, last couple of weeks that it's turned bullish the last two three weeks that it's turned bullish especially this last week again uh, just keep an eye on it if you're really interested and uh, you're listening to this kind of stuff I talk about advanced kind of stuff so you must already be invested or really thinking about it don't wait because <laughs> You know, the best strategy out there, and a lot of other YouTubers talk about it, is, you know, dollar cost averaging. Whenever you get paid, whenever you have extra money, uh, just throw it at some Bitcoin. Don't uh, don't try to, you know, just time it and go in all out. That, that's trading. You know, you, you know, that's a different game. You can do uh, you can do that with anything, and as long as it's leveraged, you can make huge gains too. You know, if you're so if you're good at uh, trading, you don't need to just do it with Bitcoin because it has volatility. Now you can just add leverage to your account, and there you go. So if you're really a good trader, you, you can just do that. You know, you don't even have to be in the Bitcoin game if you don't want to. Uh, the Bitcoin game is for people that are willing to invest in this long term because of its pers- uh, because of the possibility that this. Is uh, the next adopted technology that goes global?